Hello all back again. I'm just going to show you how you can use USB hard drives which are plugged into your router with Plex via drive mapping. In this video I'm using a Netgear R7800 router with open WRT firmware. I'm using a Kong build. That's the only thing it's going to be a little bit different depending on your router and the firmware you're using. So you may have to do things uh, a little bit different for what I'm showing in the video. But if you're uh, using OpenWRT, it should be the same. The only thing is you may have to install packages if you're using a NTFS hard drive or formatted hard drive. Right, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, log into my router. I've got a USB hard drive plugged into it. Just going to enter my password and log in. Say I'm using my Netgear and it's an R7800 and a Kong build of OpenWRT. Right on the left, uh, left hand side you'll see system. I'm just going to scroll down to uh, where is it now? Oh, back up. Uh, mount points. I'm just going to scroll down. And we need to add a mount point. So I'm going to click on add. And I'm going to mount it via its UUID. Or its number. I'm just going to click on the arrow. And normally it will be an SDA. And plus you'll see the size of the hard drive. So mine's SDA1. And it's a, a little 30 gig SD drive. And I'm going to mount it as root file system. Going to click enable. Then I'm going to click save. Just scroll down, I'm uh, going to click save and apply. Give it a few seconds to apply. If it doesn't show up, click generate config. And then mount attached devices. And then just scroll down to your mounted file systems and then on mount points just below click enabled and then save and apply again and it should show up in the list let me just scroll back down again and as you can see now it's uh, been added to the uh, mount uh, mounted file systems the SDA one Right, I'm just going to scroll down and go into services. And go into network shares. Uh, you can leave the top part as it is. I'm going to go into shared directories. I'm going to click on add. You can call it any name you want to. But you want to remember this for later. I'm just going to call it USB Plex. I'll just show you the path. If I click on path, I'm just going to open it in a new tab. The path is what I showed you earlier. It's a MNT SDA1. Yours might be slightly different. So I'm just going to copy it. And there it is in the mount point as well. So I'm just going to go back and right click and paste it into path. So it's a MNT SDA one. You can leave everything else as it is. Don't need to change anything. So I'm just going to click save and apply. Just give it a couple of seconds. And that's done.
I'm just going to close that down. The thing I'm going to do now is just test the share, make sure it's working fine. So I'm just going to go into uh, this PC. Just enter in the IP address of your router. Mine's 192.168.1.1. Just going to click on that. And there's US, uh, USB Plex. I've already got a couple of folders on it, but you can add them. Uh, I've got a couple of films in there already. I'll just go back and I've got a TV test as well. Got a couple of files in there. I'm just going to check that I can uh, read and write to it. Yeah, I can write a folder and I can also delete it. So I've got read and write access uh, to the drive. Right, so that's done. The thing I'm going to do now is log in to the uh, Raspberry Pi running Plex using a bit of software called Putty. You can just enter in the host name or the IP address of the Raspberry Pi running a Plex. I've already got it saved. I'm just going to load it and I'm just going to make it so the text uh, is uh, slightly larger so it makes it easier to read. Just click open. So just log into your Pi and then your password. Let me just move it over a bit and I'll just resize it so the text is a bit clearer or say a bit larger. Just move it up a bit. I'll just open my uh, cheat sheet like normal. First thing we're going to do is make a new folder or I'll say directory which is mkdir. You can call this folder or directory anything you want to, but if you change it, this uh, part, you need to change this to the same name, this to the same name, and this to the same name. So if you change the folder or directory, change the name of it, make sure you change the other parts as well to, uh, to the exact same name. So I'm just going to copy that going to right click to paste and then enter so that's uh, made a new folder and now we're going to set up the uh, mount point just going to copy that going to right click to paste again and then enter The two mount points down the bottom, they're two hard drives which I've already got plugged into the Raspberry Pi. But I'm now going to mount the drive which is plugged into the router. Right, so this part wants to be the IP address of your router, which is uh, mine is 192.168.1.1. And uh, the last, the other bit needs to be the shared directories. Remember we set up a name, say mine was USB Plex. So whatever name you called that, let me minimize that, put the same name after the IP address. So you've got the IP address and then the name of the share. Let me just make it a little bit longer. I'm just going to copy all this. Copy. Uh, right click to paste again it is all there just use the uh, left key on your keyboard and it will show it all just going to double check IP address and then the name of the share USB Plex now you can do a control X on your keyboard then Y for yes and then enter and that'll save it Now we're going to uh, mount the drive or map it. 
So I'll just copy this bit of text, copy it. And then if you've done everything right, you shouldn't see any errors. So right click to paste it and then enter. So that's mounted fine. Now we're going to check the mount to make sure the files and folders are there. So I'm just going to copy this. CD just means change directory. So we're going to go into the directory now. Right click to paste. And then enter again. You'll see it's gone slightly mauve now. So we're in within that folder. Now all you need to do is type ls and it should list the folders or files you have on that drive. That means you've done everything right. And as you can see, I've got my movie test and my TV test listed. So the drive is now mapped. So that's uh, working fine now. Right, and close down a uh, putty. Just click OK. And I'll just minimise that. I'm just going to log into Plex now. Use my shortcut. I'm just going to go into Settings up the top right. Then on the left hand panel, scroll all the way down and you'll see manage and just below that you'll see libraries. Click on libraries and now we're going to add a library. I'm going to uh, add films. You can call it any name you want to. Doesn't matter what you call it. I'm going to... Uh, you can call it, as I said, you can call it any name you want. I'm going to click next. Now we're going to browse for the media folder. Fingers crossed. And there it is, USB drive one. And there's my two folders. I'm going to add movie test. And there's the files within the folder. I'm going to click add. And then add library again. It's going to scan the folder. going to click on add library again this time I'm going to add TV programs same again you can call it any name you want to I'm just going to call it TV test again click next then uh, browse for media folder again USB drive one and there's my TV folder. Then I'm going to click add. Then add library. And it's scanning the uh, folders again. I'll just go into home. Give it a few seconds to scan. And there's my uh, films on the drive. It's still scanning TV. I'll just give it a few seconds. Right, let's go into film, in my library, they're just test files, I haven't got all the Jaws movies, I think only one and two are uh, any good, and I'll go into TV test, these are just test files as well. So that's a drive mounted, or say mapped, should I say. So that's everything done. So now, as I said, I've uh, got a US, uh, USB drive plugged into my router. And I've got it mapped to a Raspberry Pi running Plex. So as always, uh, I hope this video helps and uh, goodbye.